HCO3- can act as a Bronsted acid or Bronsted base. Indeed, HCO3- can gain a proton to become H2CO3. That makes it a Bronsted base, but it can also donate its proton. I'm oh, sorry, this would be HCO3. To become CO3-2-. And so in that process, it gains that proton to become H2CO3, or it can lose it to become CO3-2-, so it can be either a Bronsted acid or base. It is amphoteric. That's true. HCO3 can donate a proton. Okay, so this basically says exactly what we just talked about. So that's true, and this would also be then a CE. So that's A. 48 at 25 degrees Celsius and one atmosphere pressure, H2O is a liquid, but H2S is a gas. So this is true. You'll need to know that essentially H2S has a very low boiling point. The key here is to note why is water not a, not a gas, um, even considering it should be, it's lighter than H2S. It's got a lower molar mass. So you would expect typically the higher the molar mass, the more likely it's a liquid or a solid. So if anything, you would expect H2O to be a gas and maybe H2S to be like a liquid maybe. But it turns out H2S is a gas and H2O is a liquid. So that's true. Why? Well, we'll get into that in a second. Let's look at the second statement. The molecular weight of H2O is less than H2S. Also true. But this is just going to be choice B because this is not a CE. The fact that these are both true, the fact that the molecular weight of H2O is less than H2S actually seems to contradict the first statement because you would expect if its weight is less, it would be more likely to be a gas while maybe H2S would be a liquid, but not. What is the factor? It's hydrogen bonding that messes this up a little bit. Hydrogen bonding between the O and the H of H2O between those molecules that is what that really powerful intermolecular force is what makes water really frankly be really different and really weird compared to other molecules of its approximate size like h2s so that strong force keeps it you know closely held together keep that force makes it uh, a liquid at these conditions whereas you would otherwise expect it to probably be a gas given its molecular weight and yeah all whenever the question is like why is water weird the answer is usually hydrogen bonding that is what makes water so special and unique uh compared to other other compounds 49 this equation is balanced well let's see we've got fe2 f we'll do the let's do mass first so fe and fe that looks good 1n 1n Okay, three oxygens, one, oh yeah, three oxygens, three oxygens. Okay, I was just going to say no, but yeah, that looks good. Four H's, four H's. So that looks pretty good so far. Let's check charge though, because you can't just check mass, you got to ch check charge. So what, it's a little bit hard to see, this is not the best picture ever, but um, let's see. F, we'll just check one more time. F E F E N N three O's, three O's. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah, 4 H's and 4 H's. Okay, so now let's check the charge. It's a little bit hard to see. So this is plus 2, minus 1, plus 4. So that would be plus 5. And then over here, we just have plus 3. And so even though they are balanced in mass, they're not balanced in charge. And that is a problem. They've got to be balanced in both mass and charge. So this is false. This is false because the charges are not conserved. The charge here is plus five. The charge on the right is plus three. It's got to be equal. So this is a false false. And so therefore, number 49 is, well, I write it here. 49 is E.